What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I fit these hydraulic piranha forks on my Razer RSF650. Let's go! So, I basically chose these forks because they were the closest size to the original forks that I could find. These hydraulic forks are 600 millimeter, which is very similar to the original forks, and I really didn't want to alter the geometry of the bike too much. Now in this section, I just want to talk about some of the tools I use to get this job done. All you really need is some basic tools to get this done. You'll need a socket wrench. You'll also need an adjustable wrench. You will need a five millimeter Allen key and a six millimeter Allen key. As well, you will need a 17 millimeter socket. You'll need a half inch socket. And you'll also need a 14 millimeter socket. Very basic tools. So let's go over some of the parts you'll need. You'll need the ride or die bushing kit, which all of this stuff will be in the description below. You'll also need a longer 280 millimeter head tube bolt. The ride or die bushing kit comes with a bolt, but it was too short in my experience. Your mileage may vary. And you'll also need a longer axle, which I will have listed in the description, as well as the stock spacers that come on the bike. You'll need the spacer that comes with the axle, and you'll also need the few washers that come with the axle as well. I also used a 10 millimeter washer to fit under the washer that comes with the ride or die bushing kit. We'll go over that later. And these two pieces are the stock bushings that come on the head tube bolt that comes with your bike. And last but not least, of course, you'll need the forks themselves. So when I was first looking into all of this, some of the terms are really confusing. So I want to go over a few of those right now to clear some things up. These silver pieces are the triple trees. These are the bushings that come with the ride or die bushing kit. Basically, you can think of these as size adapters. These gold long pieces are the fork tubes themselves. This is your head tube. And this bolt is the head tube bolt. And these are the stock head tube bolt bushings that come with the bike that you will need in this project. So now that we've gone over all the basics, let's get into the installation process. So first thing you'll want to do is remove the two bolts that hold on your brake caliper and set that aside. Then you'll want to loosen the four bolts that hold on your handlebars. This would be a lot faster with a drill, but here I'm just using an Allen key. It works the same way, just a bit slower. Once you get these removed, go ahead and just take your handlebars and sit them on top of your bike. That way you don't have to remove all the wires and stuff. Then we'll need to remove the stock head tube bolt, and you'll need to hold this from the bottom and the top or else the bolt will just spin. Then you'll wanna remove these bolts that hold on the top of the stock triple tree or just loosen them enough to be able to slide the stock fork assembly off of the bike. Next, you'll want to knock out the head tube bolt that comes with the Piranha Forks. So just loosen the top cap and remove it and take a hammer and just knock this bolt out. Should come out pretty easy. I didn't mention a hammer in the tools, but I think everyone has a hammer. Then you'll want to loosen the triple clamps themselves. Go ahead and loosen these bolts. Both the top and bottom parts of the triple tree have these bolts. You'll need to loosen both. Once those are loose, you should be able to slide the triple trees right off of the fork tubes. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we have our triple trees separate from the fork tubes. We'll take our smaller bushing and put it wide side up in the top triple tree. And we'll take our bigger bushing and put it wide side down in the bottom triple tree. Next, we'll take our 280 millimeter bolt and put it through the top triple tree. We'll go ahead and add our 10 millimeter washer. I just did this so it sat flush with the triple tree. Uh, the the ride or die bushings were a little short. So next we'll put on our ride or die washer that comes with the kit. Then we'll put our stock head tube bolt bushing back in the head tube bearing. And we'll slide our top triple tree and bolt through this. 
There's a little shaft inside of the head tube that you may need to make sure is lined up. Then we'll take our other stock head tube bolt bushing and put it in the bottom. And that just fits right in there. Then we'll take our bottom triple tree and slide it through. You may have to hold the top of the bolt to kind of push it through. It's a snug fit. Then we'll take our lock nut and we'll put it on the bottom of the head tube bolt. And at this point, what you'll want to do is go ahead and snug that bolt down. You don't want it extremely tight, just tight enough where it won't come off. Then we'll go ahead and slide our fork tubes up through the triple tree. You'll want to lightly tighten these tubes down. They may not be in their final position, but just snug down the triple trees enough to hold the tubes in place. Also do your best to make sure that your fork tubes are the sitting the same height in your triple trees. It'll make it easier to put your wheel on. At this point, you'll want to take your stock wheel off of your stock triple tree fork assembly. Go ahead and pull that bolt out of there. Then you'll want to take your longer axle and push it through one side of the fork tube. Go ahead and add on your two washers. Then you'll want to take your stock spacer that comes with the bike, slide that on, and push the axle through just enough to hold everything on. Then you want to take your wheel, line it up with the hole, and push the axle through. Just push the axle through just enough to put on the other stock spacer that comes with the bike. And add one more washer. Then if everything's lined up, you should be able to push it through the other fork tube. It takes a little bit of force, you may have to wiggle it around a bit. But once that's through, you'll want to take the spacer that comes with the longer axle and go ahead and put that on. And then secure everything with the lock nut. And then you're ready to go ahead and tighten everything down. Again, you want this to be tight, but not extremely tight. You want to make sure your wheel spins freely, and if it does, then you'll know you've installed everything correctly. Now it's time to put our handlebars back on, so we'll go ahead and line everything up and let the bolt slide through. Then we'll take our Allen key and our socket wrench and go ahead and tighten these back down. After you've gotten the wheel successfully attached, you want to go back and make sure you really crank down on the triple tree bolts to make sure the fork tubes are held in there very tightly. So that is pretty much the end of the installation process. You may have noticed that I did not cover how to attach brakes to this and I am still working on a solution for that. So. Look out for that in a future video. Check the description if you're watching this in the future. There may be a link to that video. I'm gonna try to get that figured out as soon as possible. I've got some stuff coming in on Amazon. But yeah, anyways, we're gonna take care of that in the future. So if you like the video, make sure you hit the like button, hit subscribe, all that stuff. I hope this was helpful. If anyone has any questions or anything, let me know down in the comments. As always, have a good one. See you guys next time.